Alrighty, folks, let's see how this is all going to pan out here. We'll hide this fella. And one of the things I noticed with modeling to sheet was the paper size itself. Top view TC3. And I'm going to go one part per sheet. That way we can keep the scale. And hidden, I'm going to make visible. Alrighty, let's see what's going on here. Six items, title block. So if we hide the title block, we get that. Looking at our properties. I think you found something there. Now let's see if I go back to here and go edit. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. One object. Come on, grab a hold. It's not even highlighting here. Ah, uh, yep, we have. Okay, now we have an item. And I'm going to try moving that to construction, apply. And we have our hiding part on layer one and we got one up here on construction. A landscape. Let's increase that paper size to a number E. Scale one to one, use draw views one part per sheet. And we'll go with ignore. Okay. There we go. It's all in the size of the paper that we're using. So that's the big deal right there. Um Sheets placed in layers, okay. Now, as we left clicking and then viewing our properties, then we'll get our ISO and I'm using aeronautic settings. And then of course, now from here, by telling it okay, now I can scooch the views around and yeah, it does take a few times to, you know, just to get a handle on the use. And then now, edit undo move view, edit undo move view, etc., etc. Uh, but we're good. Yeah, it was just a matter of the the paper size. So within our parts per sheet, we still need to be inside our letter E template. Uh, let's get some info there. A 33 by, yeah, the 33 inch, 44. 
So go with a larger sheet of paper and life is good. The 8x11 is not tracking. So that's the name of the story there, gang. Thanks for putting up with the old troll here. See you later.